Why would I give someone a project to do? And at the end, you won't give me the, re the results. But it's so painful when we go to other countries and we see what they are doing and we see what they have there. And here we call ourselves giant of Africa. How giant are we when we have nothing to show? We have nothing to show. It's painful. Is this place supposed to be like this? Honestly, we still have a long way to go. And this place has never been open for use for once. Still under construction. For how many years? Okay now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I remind your G, Arenga. <laughs> right about now, we are moving from the Ilaje fishing community to the point of no return. It's not too far from here. Oh yes, it's not too far from here. So uh, then there's something I want to check there. I was there two years ago and it's like I was not even uh, happy to see our own point of no return the way it was then. Let me say it was, yes, the way it was then. So I wasn't happy. So today I want to go there and check if, you know, uh, new development have, uh, you know, been put onto the point of no return. You can see that's the house, that's the, that's the village. Like, yeah. So we are leaving the village now for the point of no return. Look at the lady. That's the lady for you. And uh, the brother is over there. That's him. Wow. God is great. bring out fish. Yeah. Eh? Why? Yeah. Why is it that they have to go there? Eh? At least as this thing is uh, rolling like this, the waves are uh -uh, supposed to bring out the fish outside for us so that we just be picking the... <laughs> yeah. Look at the red boat. I learned there's one village before we get to the point of the road. Where is the village? Daluku. 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 There's another village here. But those ones, are they Ilajes? No. They are Egun. Egun. So this is a separate village here. Uh, but Ghana. Eh? Ghana village is living Ghana. So the Ghanaians are the one at the mm -hmm. next yeah. village after the point of no return. Wow. So after that Ghana village, there is still the larger village. And so you have another larger village there? Yeah. Wow. We have decided to have a resting point by ourselves. Means uh, there's no resting points. <laughs> and we've really tried to far away from that place. Honestly, we still have a long way to go. 
The Nigerian government is supposed to be making money from it. Everybody has diverted into the oil. And oil is going now. I don't know what they will come back to. We have tourism. Look at other places that we went to Ghana, uh, Point of No Return. You have to pay. With uh, that, the Point of No Return, you have to pay. And all this money, they make money for the, the government and at the same time, the, the, the community also. The, the benefits from it. place where everybody in diaspora, all Africans are supposed to come and visit and enjoy themselves, feel uh, what our uh, forefathers felt in those days. You know, when they bring them down to this place and they put them in the boat, that is the end. They are not returning back. Oh God, that is the end. Look at it. Look, abandoned. Nothing is working. And it has never been used once. That's the most painful part of it. Our government, I think it is high time that our government do something about, you know, giving out projects. They should give out projects to capable hands so that they get accountable for whatever they are being asked to do. Honestly, if there's no hidden agenda behind this project. Why would I give someone a project to do? And at the end, you won't give me the, re the result. That is so painful. When we go to other countries and we see what they are doing and we see what they have there. And here we call ourselves giant of Africa. How giant are we? When we have nothing to show. We have nothing to show. It's painful. matter our government huh? our leaders they travel abroad they see things with their own eyes the way things are being structured in other parts of the country but yet what would I say this is is it selfishness or what or greed something needs to be done please let me know what we can do all the citizens of the country can do if you if you if you if you really feel what i'm feeling right now please share this video share this video honestly i came here two years ago and they said okay it, it, it was under construction then still the same Tell me, what do you have to say about 
Nigeria point of no return. This is uh, something that I really don't know. Is this place supposed to be like this? There's even no one here to protect the federal treasure or even if it is state treasure that we have here, nobody is here. People, anybody can come here and vandalize things. And as you can see, all the air conditioners, they are all spoiled. And this place has never been open for use for once. Still under construction. For how many years would that be? Honestly, I feel so ashamed of myself to have uh, visited other places of no return, you know, in some other African countries. And here, my home is nothing to talk about. This is so bad. Very, very bad. Please, let me know. Share this video. Let me know your view about it. Share this video. This is part of what we are facing in this country. Tourism in Nigeria has no value to the government. That is the way I see it. It is always good when you put uh, the, the right uh, uh, peg in the right uh, hole. Oh, I don't know how to put it. But when you put those that are supposed to be at where they are supposed to be, if you put them there, they will definitely perform. If you put people that do not know anything about tourism, it won't, I don't know, they won't be eager to see what they have started, to see how people will appreciate what they have uh, put in place. So it is always good. I don't know, the Ministry of Tourism, whatever, I don't know, I don't know. But we should all put aside our selfish interests, honestly. Because how could a whole States do something like this and just abandon it. Nobody is here. And if you go to other point of no return, you will see how busy they are. I'm telling you, you will see how busy they are. But God, it's only God that can revive this country. So I come your way with another video. Is your G Arenga saying bye bye and then Odabo. Oh,